Hi, David, they call me MacGyver. Today I'm going to show you how I opened up my ceiling to get to the drain from my shower upstairs. There was a drip that was put, leaving a stain on the ceiling, so I opened it up to see what the issue was, and there was two issues. One was the uh, seal around the um, drain itself wasn't tight enough, and I, I'll show you the uh, pliers that I ended up reaching up in there to snug that up, and then I also on the P-trap, there's a compression drain on that, and it also was dripping down that. And I'll show you how I was able to loosen that and tighten it back up. So hang tight and we'll get started. So there's the spot in my ceiling that uh, the leak was. And you can watch my video on knockdown texture ceiling repair if you want to see how I actually laid that out to cut it and also how to repair that. Uh, texture knockdown so that it matches what's uh, there existing and then after I got the hole out I just used my sheetrock saw and actually cut the insulation I made sure there was nothing in the way and then the sheetrock saw doesn't have real sharp blades on it it uh, cuts sheetrock but it doesn't cut other stuff very well unless you really saw on it but I just cut this loose and then I tuck the sheet or the insulation back into the other section there so that I could get to uh, the plumbing. And there's the P-trap and also the drain. And there was actually a leak that came off of that drain. And what I ended up doing is taking a pair of my, I have some vice grip welding pliers. Uh, so I just adjusted them so they were just almost tight. And I was able to put them up there to tighten that. Um, I had already tightened it when I stuck this up there to shoot the video, but just wanted to kind of show you how I put it up there. And then this I had a, a leak at. You can see the little white dripping down there where it was uh, a slight leak in the compression on this. This is a compression fitting. It just didn't, uh, didn't seat good. So I loosened it up, cleaned it all up, and then I actually ended up putting some Teflon tape on it just to make sure it was... Uh, sealed good and then I after I got it all sealed back up then I actually ran the wire uh, water and this is a strap wrench that I used because I wanted to get it good and snug you saw that I used it to take it off and I'm also using it to put it back on well I hope that was a good good information for you uh, if you ever get in that situation where you can't get a big wrench up in there to grab that big nut underneath the uh, shower uh, or the p-trap if you can't get your hands in there to get a grip, good grip, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get both the, uh, the pliers and also that uh, strap wrench. And hope that was good information for you. Anyway, thank you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you'll do that, click the bell icon. And then every time I come out with a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks a lot for watching. You have a great day.